Good morning, y'all. I am cleaning up the spill I made. I waste coffee all over the place. When I was making a coffee, I literally waste everything in the process of making this coffee. I wanted to try to have some coffee and read a little bit and then get out the door for work. But I'm obviously not really woke. I was up until 3 a.m. <laughs> on the phone. So that was a thing. I knew I was going to pay for that. Um, but I'm about to read a little bit of Dear Martin because this is a book that I had come in. I'm going to show you all of the books that I purchased. I think I bought like six books. So not a ton of books at all. Um, and I can't wait to do a huge book haul because I have quite a few books that um, I found for really good deals and stuff that I just want to pull the trigger on. But I am going to read a little bit of Dear Martin. And then for whatever reason, it's like really hot outside, but it's like really cold in my house. I don't know. My air is not even on. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to read a little bit, even if it's just a chapter. And then I'm already half dressed. I just have to put on my actual bottoms and then my sandals and roll out. So I'm going to try to read a little bit. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Sometimes it takes me, I'm so weird. Sometimes it takes me a while to start reading because I just can't stop sniffing a book. I just love the smell of new book. Like, I just, I don't know. It calms me down. Okay, first impression, being on page five. I think this guy is going to be funny because that's like the second or third time I done laughed out loud. But I think he's going to be funny, but he's going to be one of those funny guys that can get real deep. And you like, where did that come from? And I think this book is going to probably involve some like hurt and some pain. And maybe from that comes reflection on like you know this whole dear martin so we'll see i'm really intrigued by this idea especially as somebody who likes to write those type of letters so the fact that somebody based a book on it when that is something i do i just think it's fantastic and phenomenal so yeah and uh if you don't know i know that dear martin is about this um guy named justice and he goes to this elite prep school i think i think it's a high school um, and then he finds himself in a situation where I think he ends up getting arrested. Yeah, I think he ends up getting arrested or something like that. And just the way he got arrested and stuff just made no sense. And it prompts him to start thinking about some of the, if I'm remembering correctly, like some of the teachings and the legacy and stuff of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And then he starts to write letters to him. I, that's what I remember. That could be totally wrong. You might want to look at the synopsis on Goodreads, but that is what I remember. Um, and I'm so excited to read this. And um, Angie Thomas said that this is a must read. And Angie Thomas is the author of The Hate You Give. And I love Angie Thomas. I love that book. And I can't believe that I have put off reading this book for so long. Um, I finally got it in the mail a couple days ago. So it's going down. Okay, I'm going to read some more because I don't have much time. So I'm going to read some more and then I'm going to finish getting dressed and go to work. Okay, y'all. Okay. I have to come back really quick because I didn't know that this book was about to be <sighs> like, so when I just came and checked in with y'all, I was like on page four or five 
yeah, I was on like page four or five and I was like giving my first impressions and I'm like, okay, this is what I think. Well, all I needed to do was make an, wait another page because it went down. This book it's small. It's short. And honestly, I wish I had not started reading it because I literally want to sit here and binge it, but I'll probably get fired slash ruin my life because it's 208 pages. Oh my God. I could easily wrap myself in this book, but it just like went down. Like it's just like one thing after the other and whew, like, oh my goodness. It's like, Oh, I just can't even say it without ruining y'all. I think what I'm going to have to do is do like a book review for this book or something and do like a non-spoiler section at the beginning and then do a spoiler section because I need to talk about this book already. I need to talk about this book. I know that's going to be a thing. <sighs> uh, oh my goodness. I think I'm going to try to read one more chapter and then get out of here for work. But I have to read this next chapter after what they just said. Yeah, I'm going to read chapter three. My excuse is that my coffee is not done. I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'm going to get out of here because I have work that needs to be done. Hold me to that. Ugh, oh my goodness. All right, y'all. I'm about to get ready to get out of here, but I wanted to update y'all real quick. I've gotten dressed. I'm just very chill, you know, here for it. I actually need to change my slides. I'm going to put on my black slides. I've talked about these slides a lot. <laughs> I got these from Sears and they were like under $10 or something. The brand name is ever last these are seriously the best slides in the world sway so like i'm convinced of it and i will challenge anybody about it and they have great support like if you have foot problems and stuff people out there if you have plantar fasciitis this is for us oh i can't look <laughs> i don't even know how to show my outfit <laughs> this is for us i don't even know if y'all can tell that this foot can you tell that this foot over here this one is a little bit swollen versus that one I deal with so many foot, foot issues from spraining my ankle multiple times and fracturing my ankle. Um, and so, yeah, it's just never been the same. But I don't know if you can tell that, but I can totally see it. And then I just got on these um, pants right here that I got from... Oh, what? <laughs> Why did I twist around? Maybe I need another cup of coffee. <laughs> but these are from Walmart. I really want to go and get another pair of these in this exact color because this has been the summer of capris of some kind and a t-shirt this t-shirt is from Coles. if you're wondering it has a cute little minion on it it also says sorry it's not my day to care like hello subliminal messages and stuff my hair is dirty it's pulled up into a dirty dry puff <laughs> and i'm just keeping it real and that's really it y'all i don't have nothing too special going on but i'm comfortable and i'm about to go and sit and work on campus don't mind my laundry okay i'm gonna get to that when i get to it <laughs> but let me update y'all really quick on this book Let's just walk out here. Let me update y'all really quick on this book. So I got to, oh my goodness, where was I? I first of all, obviously I needed to put, no. Oh, and look, I annotated my book. Yes, okay, so I got to chapter nine and I just stopped reading right there. It's so incredible, like it's so good. I feel like the dialogue is so honest and you really get to see struggles on so many different sides of it. This book has made me laugh out loud countless times. It's also made me cry. I'm really enjoying it. And I honestly wish I did not have to go to work today because I would literally finish this book. This is definitely a book that I would binge that you could read in one setting. It's also a book that you really could take your time with and just absorb it. Um, and I do feel like I'm absorbing it and I'm really... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I do really feel like I'm getting it, but I'm just gobbling it up so fast because it's just so, the pages, they just, it's such a good read that I just, I'm wrapped up in it, but I'm literally also leaving it right here. And I'm about to get out of here because if not, I'm going to get fired because I'm sitting here reading this book. So <laughs> I'm about to roll out y'all. So I'll talk to y'all later. Hi people. I am back. I just made a snack. This is um, a chocolate banana smoothie. And so I just did some sliced frozen bananas and some raw cocoa powder, a little bit of honey. I did some protein powder too to actually fill me up. And I did the PB2 powder. And I think that's it. And then this is almond milk and yeah, and it's delicious and
I made this one a little bit thicker and it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. so delicious and refreshing because it's burning up so I am about to do some more reading for Dear Martin and then transition back to doing other academic things but while I'm enjoying that I'm gonna do a little bit of reading in here because I just any excuse to finish reading this book I'll take oh. <laughs> any excuse to finish reading this book I'll take what I can get so let's go and also, I figure, I gotta kind of prop y'all up, huh? <clears throat> I really need to get a new stand for my phone since I'm doing, like, these reading-type vlogs and stuff on my phone. So, <laughs> let's go. So excited. Um, this is why I need, a, I need to get book marks. Man, high school, bro. Oh, a particular scene just definitely made me cry. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, so I'm back. I finished reading Dear Martin. <laughs> I feel deflated after reading this book. Like, I, I also feel a lot of other things, but I also feel deflate, deflated because I feel so much. With that being said, I truly love the ending. There was something so hopeful but realistic about it. Um, this book had a lot of surprises, in my opinion, that I didn't see coming. And... Um, I like the writing style like it was conversational to an extent and I also like the breakup of like okay we're getting this story from just this perspective it's just one um, POV and then it switches and then it's like we actually get to read the letters that he's writing to Martin and I really like that like I don't know something about that added it to me I I don't know why I didn't think we were gonna get to read the letters Ugh, let me get comfortable yeah I don't know Apparently, I didn't get comfortable. Let's try that again. But yeah, I don't know why I didn't think we were going to get to read the letters, but something about that um, just really added to the story for me. The lighting is terrible, isn't it? And I bought a thing for my camera, for my phone, that's supposed to make the lighting better. So I need to um, get it out the closet and start trying, trying it out and figuring out how to use it. But anyway, um, but yeah, I've heard some people say that they didn't like the writing style, so... I guess if you're not a fan of that, that will take away from the reading experience. Also, this book is not very long. It's 200 something pages. Like I said, I did like the way it ended. I didn't think things were wrapped up too neat, but I also didn't think it was just like super left open. And I think depending on the storyline, I can be okay, okay with any of those things. I think the ending was very fitting for this story. And I also like how she dealt with so many different issues in this book right like we're talking about racism and discrimination we're talking about that coming from you know stemming from um so many different things like in the black community um outside of the black community um different prejudices um within the black community and outside of the black community and on so many different levels and i like the honest dialogue that was had about that um and I, yeah i just i just thought this book was such an honest conversation and I just really loved it. But I will say I laughed out loud so much. And I actually annotated this book in quite a few places. Which I didn't even think that was going to happen for me. But there's like one point right here where I wrote we all make choices. And there's quite a few places in here. Look at this. Where I wrote like LOL. Oh, this is a scene up here at the top right here. Cry my eyes out. Down there I put LOL. I think with a heart. 
Yeah, because what did I say? Oh, I just said mothers. Yeah, like it would just. I don't know. I don't have a ton of those in here, but maybe I'll do a video, maybe like for spoilers and kind of talk a little bit about maybe some of the scenes that I kind of want to have somebody to talk to about it. And then I could also show you where I annotated the book and show you what I put because I don't want to like put it up to the screen and hold it up to the screen for too long and ruin somebody who has not read it. So maybe I'll do that. That could, I mean, that should be a fairly, maybe I'll do that. I kind of want to show where I annotated it and kind of talk out a couple scenes that I was like, oh my God. So maybe I'll do that. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come back on and let you guys know that I did finish this book. It was very binge worthy. I gave it five stars on Goodreads and I, I just really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I picked it up. I really wish I would have picked it up sooner. So yeah, um, I'm going to end the video here and I will see you guys in the next one. As always, thank you so much for watching, for commenting, for supporting um, and just talking books with me. I really appreciate it. Bye.